Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who can tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. I think she'll talk to me. I'm, I'm pretty good with women. The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be kicking myself for sending you up there. Can I drive? Mary Pickford. for intruding, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us... I don't talk to hooligans! Not a very friendly sort. Doc, that, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to... Listen, just leave it to me. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. Hey, Miss Strick- Who are you? Uh, Yakov Shmirnov? That's a foolish name! And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names! But we're not strangers! How do I know you? I saved your life once, a long time ago, remember? Kit Tannen had you tied up. Listen, Sonny. I'm an easy-going woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past, because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? You see that car over there? Y you stole that from, from Carl Sagan, and you, you time-jumped into the past. Me? Steal a car? 
You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. And I don't give a fig about the past. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. I brought you... him. Him? Who oh, him? Him who? Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. It can't be! Emmett! Yes, Edna. It's me. It is! It's October 13th, 1931! Oh, and you are Emmett! Emmett! Oh, how did I get so turned around? Have I been dreaming, or... Oh, stay there! It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Darling, you've come back! Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, uh, uh. Schnookums. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um... Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh! What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Help me figure something out. Yes? I'm not sure what she's searching for. Did Detective Parker do something to Edna at the Expo? Yeah, he tried to arrest her. That must be it. Can you think of a way to prompt her memory? Explain something to me, Doc. Edna jumped to the past and made Hill Valley disappear, right? That's the working hypothesis. Then how come we're still around? Whatever Edna did to Hill Valley must have happened so long ago that the ripples in the time stream haven't caught up with us yet. So, how long do we have before the ripples catch up with us? Oh, I'm sure we've got at least an hour before everything goes to hell. Great. If we don't restore the timeline, I'll never be born, r right? Probably not. But even if we do restore it, my grandpa's gone and married the wrong woman. Either way, I'm, I'm host. One crisis at a time, Marty. Right now, let's worry about getting the full story out of Edna. Edna used the DeLorean to jump into the past. I wonder why she never jumped out again. Put yourself in her shoes. 
unexpectedly propelled into the past by an unreliable time machine. Will you risk another trip? I might. You know, I've been dealing with Edna Strickland a lot lately, and I've seen her old and I've seen her young, but I've never seen her so... That shit crazy? Right. How do you think Edna got this way? I guess that Edna's immense guilt over whatever she did in the past, combined with the trauma of traveling through time, has caused her to repress her memories. If we want to find out what happened, we'll have to break through those blocks, preferably before the time ripples catch up with us. I still can't believe my grandpa married Trixie. What are we going to do about that? It's a dire situation, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a back seat to unraveling this unspeakable catastrophe. I'll figure something out. I'm sure you will. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh! He's after me! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Curses! I can't shake him! Well, no use in holding back now! Let's see what this baby can do! And... Here it comes! Yes? Here what comes? I, uh... I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it, how can I be... Expecting something unexpected at uh, oh what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Here they come! The lights! I'm being transported! Where? To the past! What do you see? Hill Valley! But it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is! Is what? Grandfather! Big as life! Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by- I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland, quick! You've got to bring this story to a climax! I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. I wonder what's cooking. Set her, Marty. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. A blacksmith sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. Yeah, 
an old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. 